Hi everyone, I feel like I start every video by saying sorry about my hair and this is not going to be an exception. Um, I apologise for the state of my hair. It's just being really difficult at the moment and um, I'm contemplating on doing a Sinead O'Connor and just shaving it all off but we won't um, go into too much detail about that. But um, yeah, I decided to do a kind of top nail polish picks for spring because I was going to do a makeup one but considering somebody in the UK has forgotten to let the weather know that it's springtime it's still very dark and grey here and I'm not kind of feeling summery enough to be sporting a really bright lip most of the time so I thought I'd wait a little bit more till it gets a little bit warmer to do that video and nails are kind of a nice transition into spring a nice way to kind of express that kind of freshness and that kind of thing and instead of wearing the blacks and the deep blues and the vampy reds during the winter once spring comes you can wear kind of prettier colours and I feel like springtime is all about pastel colours so the first one I've chosen is Sally Hansen one of their complete mani salon manicure nail polishes this is in the shade Dolphinium and um, I'm wearing this on my toes actually and this is a really unusual polish because it's kind of like a purpley bluey grey it's got a little bit of a bluey undertone to it but it's really pretty and it's cool enough for it to not look really bright so you could kind of wear it if you worked in an office or something like that and you wouldn't kind of feel out of place so Sally Hansen Delphinium is really nice then sticking to the kind of lilac -y colours this one is by Stargazer which if I'm not mistaken is sold in Super drug? No, in New Look you can buy Stargazer and I think you can buy it online too. And this is in number 503, it doesn't have a name. And it's just this really pretty lilac y colour, but it's a lot more lilac than Dolphinium. If you see, Dolphinium's got a little bit more of a grey, bluey tone. This is like a really nice lilac, really pretty, really kind of delicate. It's a little bit pinkier than it's showing up on camera. And it looks really, really pretty on your nails and kind of quite delicate and girly as well. So I really like that one. And then another lilac -y one I really like is this one by Misguided, and this is called Misbehave. And this is what it looks like. And this is a kind of pinkier lilac -y tone, so better if you've got a warm skin tone, because it's got a little bit of warmth to it. It's a really pretty, really easy to wear shade, really nice formulation as well. And um, like I said, it's a little bit warmer. Another thing I've been loving is glitter polishes. I bought this one by Barry M and it's number 244 Hologram. And this is what it looks like and it's basically just holographic glitter. It's quite chunky and um, I bought this to just layer over the top of other nail polishes and it looks really, really pretty and really kind of springtime appropriate if you layer it over a pastel. It's really unusual and it kind of really makes your nails stand out. I really like that. Then I've got kind of two bluey-ish colours, I suppose. The first one is a Revlon colour, and it's Revlon's top speed in number 710 Cloud, which is just kind of like a very cool toned whitey blue. It's kind of like an ice blue, but it's got quite a lot of um, a kind of whitey undertone to it. Really pretty, really easy to wear. I did a nail of the day on my blog, I think, so I'll pop that in the description box if you want to see it on my nails. But it's very easy to wear, and um, it kind of, it, I'm sure it'd look great during the summer with a tan, but obviously now I haven't really got that much of a tan. But it still looks nice, and it's still a little bit unusual, and every time I've worn this, I've had people asking what was on my nails. Then another one is Barry M's Blueberry which looks like this. This is more of a summery colour, but I still wear this during springtime because it's just very vibrant and pretty and it kind of makes me happy. It looks amazing on toes and looks really pretty on hands with a hologram over the top of it. It gives you kind of like a really pretty, fun holiday nail. So I love that one. Then I've got Barry M's, um, I think this one's called Mint, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that the name of it is Mint, I'll put it in the description box anyway, and it's kind of this block mint green colour, it's coming off a little bit more turquoisey on camera, but it's a very kind of pretty mint greeny shade, really easy to wear, not intimidating at all, and if you like mint, and mint's a big, big colour for this season, then this is a really nice little addition, and very nail polishes, like I've said, are really, really amazing. Then the last two I've got are kind of peachy nude shades. The first one is Shop Horror, another Barry M, and this is Peach Melba. I bought this not very long ago, and I do really like it. It's not one of my absolute favourite polishes, but I do like it. And 
this one looks really pretty if you've got a tan and again it looks pretty if you haven't got a tan I have worn it with hologram over the top and that was really nice too but it's a very pretty, very pastel-y, appropriate kind of springtime colour and it's nice if you want something a little bit different and something that kind of pops a little bit more but still isn't too bright, really nice. And last but not least, if you like a kind of nudie nail, this one is by Revlon and it's number 910 and it's called Barely Peach. And it's just like a pretty whitey nude colour. If you like that kind of colour, then this is a really nice one. Revlon nail polish is, again, a really nice quality. And um, I'm wearing it actually over the top of my French manicure. These are my nails. I had a couple of you in the previous video ask if I was wearing press-ons. I'm not wearing press-ons. They're my nails. Um, if you want me to kind of show how to do an at-home French manicure, I will. But I think it's really easy. And um, I don't really think it's video worthy. But, um, yeah, my nails. So yeah, those are my top picks for nail polish for the spring season. Let me know what nail polishes you're loving for spring and I will have some exciting news for you hopefully sometime this week, hopefully tomorrow, um, about a little giveaway or maybe if it arrives soon I'll film it today, I haven't decided yet, but I'll have a little giveaway going on for you so keep your eyes peeled for that one and I'll see you all soon, bye bye.